keep our eyes on there. Meanwhile, data obtained by News 8 shows Hoosiers may pay millions of dollars in convenient fees to access services paid for by their tax dollars. A state lawmaker wants to end that practice. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist looks into those numbers. It can be something as simple as registering your car or renewing your license at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. If taxpayers fund government services in the first place, why do they have to be double charged to access the services that they funded in the first place using their tax dollars? State Senator Fadi Kadora obtained state data on convenience fees state agencies charge. They're passing along the fees credit card companies charge. But Kadora says the state should cover the cost of the credit card fees. From a policy perspective, it's the right thing. From a fiscal perspective, it is a reduction of burden on our taxpayers who already funded government services. And then third, the cost can be fully absorbed within the existing budget. Kadora says he will file legislation this session to end the practice. It would only apply to state government. He says fees vary, but it could save you as much as five to seven dollars per transaction. Kadora says the state needs to recognize most people now pay for services with credit or debit cards. We should make the idea of accessing government services easier, more efficient, and less costly for our taxpayers. I don't think that eliminating the convenience fees should impair access to government services. Kadora's bill would only apply to future contracts, so if it became law, it would not take effect until the state negotiates its new credit card transaction fee contracts. Those contracts would not take place until sometime around 2027. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.